Yo, what's up? How you doing? I hope you're good. Listen, I recorded this series. It's a six episode series for you to learn how to make money and how to start a successful business. Okay, these are the things that work for me. Uh, as some of you might have heard my story. I don't come from an entrepreneurial background. I don't come from nobody in my family, you know, made it. Um, actually, I was the first person. I was the first millionaire in my, in my family. And I believe that with these tips, with these uh, lessons, with this information, you will find a way as well to be the person who's going to break the circle of poverty in your family. Okay. So you have to make sure that you watch all the six episodes. So uh, as somebody said, that information is power. Man, applied information is power. You see, what I did in my life, I started learning. I started investing in learning, just like what you have done to watch this first episode. And you're going to do that until you're done with the six episodes. Because we, as people, we can find money for alcohol and we still complain to be broke. You can find money to buy liabilities and you still complain to be broke. You can find money for anything else, but you never find money to invest back in yourself, to invest back to grow, to make more money, which is the first step that you took now. And I'm very proud of you. And because of this, you're going to testify a proper testimony about how this changed your life. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to show you where you are before we start going forward. I'm going to show you where you are because for you to identify where you're going, somebody told me, VK, when you're heading somewhere, true leaders got to know where they are first. That's the power of navigation. For example, if you're using your GPS on your phone, they ask you, where are you? Even if an Uber wants to take you to point B, they got to know point A first. Why? Because if you don't know where you are, you never know where you're going. You never know the route to take. So since there's a lot of people watching this video, I'm going to show you where you are. So I'm going to show you a success quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki. That's where I learned it. Okay. I'm going to show you that because I believe that's the perfect way of showing you where you are. All right. So let's get into it, guys. Come on. Come on. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. And I hope you're excited. I hope you're enthusiastic about this because excitement plays a long way when it comes to this journey of success. So, <coughs> uh, sorry. I've got a cold, but I just said it's fine. Even if I've got a cold, I'm going to do this. Okay. So here, you've got an E, all right? You've got an E. So this E, stands for, for, for employee. I'm going to write here. Okay. Employee. All right. And then obviously, you know what an employee is? An employee is someone that has got a job. Okay. So you're an employee. If First, if you are an employee, that means you're working for someone. So I'm going to define an employee for you. Okay. So an employee, it means you've got a job. I like what one of my friends said. He said a job stands for just over broke. Okay, J-O-B, just over broke. You're not broke because you can meet your bills at the end of each month, even if sometimes you don't meet all of them. But you know what I'm talking about. Unless you can pay your rent. So that means you're not completely broke. You're just over broke. Okay, that's an employee. So an employee is someone who chooses to sell their time for money. If you're an employee, what you're doing is you're selling your time for money. You're choosing to say, boss, you know what? I'm going to give you my time and you give me money. That's why rates are different according to a job. Why do you think that another guy is paid 500 an hour? Another guy is paid 30 rand an hour. I worked at Food Lovers. I was getting paid 17 rand an hour which was way less than, I think, about 150 a day or something like that. And I was working a lot of hours. Why is that? They give you the money that they deem necessary to your value in the company. So if you're bringing more money, and the funny thing is the hard workers in the company are the ones that bring more money and are paid less. You see, we'll get there when I start teaching you about how to work smart, but earning more because hard work pays less. We're going to get there in the series. I think you'll find that in episode three. All right. So episode one, I need you to know where you are. So if you're an employee, you also choose that, you know what? I need to be paid. So there are 365 days in a year. 
you just choose that I need to be paid 12 days of those 365 days. There are 365 days in a year. If you're an employee, what you're saying is, you know what, VK, you're a boss. You know, you've got a couple of companies. VK, what you can do, you can make money 365 days of the year because that's how I make money. I make money every day, all right? I make money every day. We're going to break down when it comes to making money on the following episode. So I make money every day. There is no day I cannot make money. Even when I'm sleeping, I make money. Even when I'm sick, I make money. Even when I got a cold, I make money. Even right now as I'm speaking to you, after I've done this, I'm going to go check my bank account, how much has got it. So I make money every day. And you choose that, you know what? Me, I'll just make 12 days of the month. Because 12 days, you're getting paid January, February, March, April, up until December, which is 12 months of the year. So that's what basically you're choosing. You're choosing to be paid 12 months while somebody makes. So even if you get paid a week, the money only sums up to a month. That means you're, so that's what an employee is. Somebody says time is money. So basically you're choosing to say, I'm going to sell my time for money. So if you're giving an eight to five job, it means basically you're saying for the eight to five hours, I'm going to give you my time. And when you're an employee, you don't start your job the moment that you get to work. You start working, you start giving this boss time the moment you wake up. Because even if you wake up at 3 and start preparing for the kids, or you wake up at 4, or you wake up at 5, the time does not already belong to you. It already belongs to this guy because everything that you're doing is going for this guy. So if you think you start your job the time that you get in your job, stop lying to yourself. You start your job the time you wake up to prepare for the job. And you finish work the time that you're done preparing again for work tomorrow. Because when you get home, you start preparing again for work. You start looking at, you know, whatever. And then after that, you sleep or you watch TV or whatever. So somebody said, if you've got a nine to five, you only have got the hours that you have until you work up again to wake your dreams. And some of you, when you get home, you watch TV. Some of you watch Generations and your generation is broke. Some of you watch Scandal and your life is a scandal. So you don't have time to work your dreams. You have no business plan that you work after hours. You have no, you know, you have no income. You have no extra income that you work after hours. You have no side business that you work after hours. You just go to work, make this guy rich. See, when you're doing this, you're just helping someone's dreams come true. If you're fine with, yeah, well, I don't know. But if you want to be the person to break the cycle of poverty in your family, you have to get away from here. And I'll show you in this series how to do that. Because when you are employed, what you do is you're helping. There's a funny story that I read. So this little boy goes to a boss, right? He goes to a boss. The boss buys a new Lamborghini. And then he gets there. It's the, it's the 10th of January after the holidays of the end of the year. Getting into the beginning of the year. The boss gets there. And is like, you know what, man? I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, I bought this new Lamborghini. Everyone is going around the car. Everyone is happy. People are happy. They're like, the boss has got a new Lambo. Just like our Zimbabweans uh, celebrate, you know, these other guys' cars. I've seen how people, real men, you're, you're grown-ass men. You are literally seeing a car and you go nuts. And you follow it in the road. Man, like, really? So, people are celebrating. And this boy is like, boss, this is a very nice car. And the boss said, you know what? This year, as we're starting the year, if you come earlier to work, if you work harder, if you put in more hours, if you give everything more than what you did last year, next year I'm going to buy another one. Actually, I'm going to buy a better one. That's what the boss said. So that just shows you how much this person is putting effort and is the benefit of the boss. And he just pays you for the time according to what you accept and what he deems necessary. So I think I've employed, I've, I've explained to you what employee means. So if you are here, I'm sure you now know what it really means to be here. Because we cannot go further if you don't know what it means to be here. Okay, now the second thing that I'm going to explain to you is the SE. All right, so the SE simply means self-employed. 
Okay. I've seen people brag about this, especially when you get stopped by a traffic cop in South Africa. When they're giving you a ticket, they say you must write what you do for a living. You see, are you self-employed? I don't, I say I'm not self-employed. Man, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm not self-employed. You know, when you're self-employed, okay, so let me explain what self-employed is. When you're self-employed, you have a business, all right? You have a business, but you don't run the business. The business runs you. I'll give you a better definition. You won't make money if you're not there. Your business needs you to make money. And you're one of the most stressed people on the planet Earth. This is where hustlers are found. Let me say street hustlers. This is where street hustlers are found. If you are here, it means you are that person, for example, who sells in the street. You are that person who supplies, who sells suits to people, even via, via online or whatever. You are that person who sells on a day-to-day. -day. You don't have human resources. That means you don't have people working for you. Some of you actually have people working for you but you still find yourself there on a daily basis because these people, there are some things that they can't do that only you can do. Or you haven't found the right structure, which I'll teach you as you are going in the series, the right structure to make sure that you've got the right human resources that you can pay, remember, so that they can make your dreams come true. So if you're self-employed, it means if you're not there, you don't make money. Money only starts running when you wake up. That's when you start, you know, jogging. And this person is stressed, guys, because if clients don't buy, there's no money coming in. Here, there is constant income. They know, no matter what, by the end of month, I've got my money. Here, there is no constant income. If the business is out of season, there's no money. If the business is not moving, there's no money. If you get sick, there is no money. And still, the landlord still wants his rent. So here is where most people are found especially Zimbabweans, that's what I've realized. They're mostly found here because Zimbabweans can hustle. They are not lazy. You know, they're people that can hustle. Most of them are found and self-employed. That's where they're found. South Africans, most of them here, as much as I've, I've observed. Um, only white South Africans come down here, I'll show you. But most of my black people are found here. And some here, but not a lot. But Zimbabweans, most of them are here. Zimbabweans are hustlers, man. They can sell anything. But the problem is they don't know how to scale their businesses. They don't know how to go to the next level. So if you are self-employed, never brag about that because the business runs you. Okay, you are the business bitch. It runs you. You don't run the business. It detects where you should be. It detects what time you sleep. It detects how many people you must meet. It detects because you're just running that to, to cover your overheads, to cover your bills. That's it on self-employed. So I hope I've explained well on self-employed and that you get it. Now, I'm going to my favorite part. Okay, this is where the 1% are found. So here on top here is where you find the 99% of the world. 99%. And then here is where you find the 1%. The 1% of the world, the millionaires. So up there are the people that work so hard and die broke. Okay, before I move down here, I'm going to give you another example here of self-employed. Everyone, you know of someone, Inini, I know a lady from Zim, because um, I used to sell in the street. I used to be self-employed as well, even when I got an essay or whatever, when I went to, to these different countries and hustling and whatnot. Uh, but there's a lady back in Zim, because I started selling in the streets at 12. When my dad passed away, my dad passed away when I was 11. At 12, I was now helping my mom sell in the street. And, you know, I'll tell you my story as we go. So I grew up in poverty. That's how I grew up. I became a hustler at the age of 12. I always say I became a man at the age of 12. Like how Jesus, you know, became a man at the age of 12. So at the age of 12, I started selling in the street. Now, there's this lady that was selling right beside me. Okay. So selling right next to me. After the years have passed by, I went to school after school. I went into business after business. You know, I decided, okay, I went into uh, countries and stuff. And then I went back to Zim at some point. 
Now I go back to Zim after maybe seven, eight years of not seeing this lady. I go back there. I see this, the woman right there still selling the same type of vegetables, the same type of tomatoes on the same small stand. She hasn't gone anywhere. Some of you know those people. They've been selling airtime on the corner. They've been having a tuck shop on the corner. They've been having a sort of service. Someone has been doing chips on the corner. They've been doing that for the last 20 years and nothing has changed. It's because the business owns them. They don't own the business. And these people somehow find a way to survive and cover their expenses and whatever. And most of them don't go back here. These people, what they lack is information to now go to the 1%. Now, the 1%, you find uh, BO here. Okay. So BO basically stands for business owner. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I like this. This is my favorite part. This is where the 1% of are. So, for example, if you go buy a franchise today of McDonald's, you go buy a franchise. Um, you own the business because McDonald's is already known. The moment you put it in the street, people are already coming to buy. They don't care who owns the franchise. They don't care who are you. They don't even want to know you because what you do is you own the business. Okay. So when you are a business owner, it means you make money while you sleep. That's what a business owner is. You own the business. Warren Buffett said, if you don't learn how to make money while you sleep, you work until you die, which is what I'm going to teach you in this series. How do you go from here to here to here? How do you make money while you sleep? Guys, to tell you the truth, as long as you keep working hard, you're going to die in poverty, which is what I said. Again, I'll explain in the following episodes. You have to learn to make money while you sleep. Otherwise, you work until you die. Okay. So when you're a business owner, you own the business. You have got human resources, people that work for you. You have got structures. So you have got a management structure. You have got an operational structure. You have got a distribution structure. Uh, you have got a board. You have got a chief operations officer. You have got a chief, a chief executive officer if it's a big you know, corporate. If it's a small business, you have got your little management structure where you have got your bookkeeper and you have got your admin. Or sometimes the admin can also do both being the bookkeeper and the admin, according to how you can pay at that time, you have got a manager uh, and then you've got someone who's running your production, depending on what type of a business is. If it's a service business, if it's a product business. All right. I don't want to explain because it's in the series. All right. It's, it's in the other episodes. So basically, if you're a business owner, you can have a small business and be a business owner, guys. You can start a business three months, the fourth month or the sixth month. You're already a business owner, and I'm going to show you how. But today, I just want to show you where you are so that you understand where you are so that we, we can know where we are going. So business owner is basically where you make money while you sleep. You own this business. You own this business. You just have to see, if it's a small business, you just have to see probably the day-to-day -day running of accounts or, you know, depending on your business. But you can go for a holiday and people still be sending money in your account. You can go uh, for a vacation and people still send money in your account. You can attend a funeral or a wedding and while you're there, you see notifications coming in your account. That's what we call a business owner. All right, most people are not here, so I'm not going to explain much until I teach you how to be there. Then you have my most favorite part now, which is the I. Now, this is the most favorite thing that I like. I stands for investor. Man, somebody said if you shake a bottle, Mixed with different mixtures, the cream always comes on top. So this bottle, these people are at the bottom. But if we shake this bottle, this cream will always come on top. 
investor is where you put your money to work. Here, mostly you put people to work when you're a business owner. See, people that have made it in life don't work. I'm speaking about this. They learn how to put people to work. That's what business owner is. When you're an investor now, you don't even care about people. You care about investing in this guy. That's why most business owners, their businesses need investments to take off. Most of them, as I'm saying, and I'll teach you how to get investments in the other episodes. I think that's episode five or episode six. So now, investor is where you put your money to work. Your money goes and works for you. So you invest in a business. You invest in a money stream. And there is someone who is owning that, that sees that they have to multiply your money. They have to get your money. They have to make sure they grow your money. And you were somewhere in Dubai or Singapore, sipping champagne and sitting right there, not even working. After that, when it multiplies, you go invest it somewhere again. When it multiplies, you go invest it somewhere again. And here, take note, it's not only for the big money. You can start investments with even $100. You can start investments with even $50. They are what are called private funds. They are what are called hedge funds. They are what are called capital venture firms. There is portfolio income, stock market exchange, things like that. It's information that you have to know. I also have got a personal fund. But, well, I take a minimum amount of money of about $3,000. But it's a good investment. You might think you need $50,000 to start investment. You can actually send your money to work. Let's say with VK Capital, for $3,000, your money is already working for you. And after that, you get a return. After that, you get a return. And then you make money. So, guys, these are the four. These are the four things in life right now. And you have to figure out where you are. You have to find on these four things, where are you? You have to make sure that you identify. Are you in your job? Are you self-employed? Are you a business owner? Or are you an investor? And then on the next episode, we are going to discuss how to get from here to here, how to get from here to here. How do you get to be a business owner? How do you get to be an investor? How do you, because to tell you the truth, as long as you're watching the series, I want you to be here. I don't want you anywhere here. I want you to be on the 1%. I have done it. I do it every day. And I've got the source. I've got the secret. I've got the ability to make you do it. And I'm going to coach you through this series how you can get here. So let's share the series. Make sure somebody else sees it. Make sure somebody else buys it. Okay, this series is at a minimum cost, guys. I, I cannot mentor people personally because of my schedule, especially at the moment. So that's why I did this series. But don't, make, don't, don't like watch it with 50 people. People have to learn to invest for knowledge. Just share the link with them. Just tell them, watch this. Let them download it. Let them pay for it so that they know at least they invested in themselves to learn. Okay. Some things don't just give for free. So introduce people to this series. Introduce people. Let them watch it. And then I'll catch you on the next episode. It's going to be fire. I'll see you soon. I love you guys. Peace out.